Here we are in one of the most arid, remote areas of northwestern Queensland. This part of Riversleaf, this very precious place, has given us an extraordinary look at how the whole continent has changed over the last 25 million years. I had a PhD student, Ned Stevenson, who was very good at remote sensing. He worked out that you should be able to actually, potentially, find fossils from satellites. And he came back very excited, and so were we when we saw his map, and there way beyond the World Heritage Fossil Deposits with the same signals in areas we had never gone before. Probably no European had ever set foot before. What was in those areas? We dropped down in a couple of the spots, bang. Phil Kreiser got out of the plane, or out of the helicopter, and there were fossils on the spot where he dug, and it's right where we're standing now. But as we started to dig into it, we found teeth coming up. Now, one of the first things that struck us as remarkable was that the teeth were very worn. This is so unusual for Riversley. My job out here is to help the team collect and identify um, the fossils that are coming out of the sites. Um, and trying to keep all the pieces together because obviously things break during the collection process. I would love to find um, a skull of really any mammal um, or any animal actually, a bird, one of the birds or, or even one of the crocodiles, uh, a, new, a, new, um, a new animal and would be fabulous. That's really what we would look, uh, that's what I'd love to find. From about 15 million to about five million, we know almost nothing about what happened in this area, and that's critical. That's the time period when Australia began to dry out, and the things, the, the dry country animals that characterize the continent today were beginning to evolve and take over from the rainforest animals. This site, it looked to us, was in that zone. So now we are really fascinated to know what's coming out of these pits. We found another animal, there's another tooth, I looked at this thing, I have no idea what I'm looking at. It's a completely new animal. I didn't even know what group this one belongs to. Normally I'm mustering for uh, the company I fly for up here in North Queensland. Um, but every now and again they spear you off and give you something different to do. At the moment I'm up here in the helicopter um, flying these paleontologists around the national park here. Can't even remember the name of the national park off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> They're a good bunch of people. Um, yeah, no, and all fairly intelligent and far more intelligent than I am, so. <laughs> well, it's this. This ridge in the bottom has bone in it, but it's gotten to the point where we can't use hand tools anymore to get it out. So at this point, we're going to have to drill down along that ridge and put in cracking explosive. The cracking explosive will, it's not, the intent is not to blow it out of the hole, that would be a mistake. The intent is to crack it into pieces enough that can be then hauled out with crowbars and examined. But uh, we reached the point where we simply can't do that anymore with hammers and chisels. Well, we're going to do some surgical blasting to um, crack the rock so that the paleontologists can uh, check them out for bones and whatnot, fossils. It's very tightly controlled blasting under um, conditions of, uh, of, of um, what would you call it? Precision. Precision, artistry. <laughs> It's just a whole pile of pieces and we've got to try and unravel it somehow. Disassemble it, take it back to Sydney and reassemble it. I don't know how people think it's fun really, flying around North Queensland in a helicopter with a box of jelly night and a jackhammer blowing things up. I mean, it doesn't really sound fun at all, does it? We're hoping to see the beginnings of the modern radiation taking shape here, overlapping with some of the older stuff as it's phasing out and the newer animals are starting to move in take over the landscape. So this is such an important place to us. You know, when you, when you think about what happened, when Phil hooked up that piece of rock and there was a jaw sticking out the end, we'd already spent some considerable days, you know, looking for new fossil sites. So you kind of build up a store of adrenaline and you only have to see one of those jaws and wham, it's like somebody electrocuted you. You're alive and everybody jumps into the pit. Everybody's pushing everybody else aside. Hammers are going into the rocks. It's extremely exciting. I mean, there's no other way to describe it than that you get to be a discovery junkie. And man, have we just had a fix.